Welcome to jobscleshare.org. In this video, I will be talking about a very small script that can help your Active Directory learning for a new help desk professional. And this video is created for a member who took our live training, uh, but I want to share this with other people because we have a full Active Directory training on YouTube as well. So this will benefit people uh, by using the script. So we're going to be sharing one simple script that can help with certain tickets uh, and calls or issues that you may come across in IT. So let's go to that member PC. This is the PC that we have given this live member. And uh, he has this machine right here. So domain controller, is cor uh, everything is connected, everything is working. So he's working on uh, Active Directory learning right now. And he's using administrative tools right here. So basically, why do we need this small script that what we're talking about? So a member can come over here, help this person, can right click here and find out, okay, this person is locked out or something like that. They can come here and unlock the person. These are the basic kind of things that you will learn. Also resetting your passwords and stuff like that. But imagine if somebody call you that, you know, I cannot log in and you come over here, you do unlock and still they can't, uh, you know, access. So Active Directory is not going to tell you more than that unless you know a, a good amount of logging and events type of troubleshooting, which in the beginning, most of the entry level people will not know how to do that kind of stuff. And people don't expect you to know that because that's more advanced stuff. So what can you do to make your job easy in this case? So you need this type of script and you're going to go to Google type Active Directory password reset spikes for HTA and then you are going to go to this link change password unlock comma enable disable user account tools and i will share this link in the description by the way but that's just in case you forget and don't get to my link so here credit given to these people right here so you're going to basically log into spiceworks and get the code so you're going to click on get the code and then you will basically D uh, download this code now if if you're new in from a learning uh, point of view you're gonna say am I like to just r uh, download a script and run it on the systems no you're not in, in a in a real production environment scripting downloading tools or anything like that you need to ask your manager and most likely if they know spikes first which, which they will probably do most likely you're gonna get away with this and you're gonna get this script if you have an environment where you are pretty much open to do a lot of things, you are a help this person, you need to get tools like this. Uh, a lot of times that will happen and you can, yes, you can do it then. But if you feel like you work for a pretty high, uh, you know, uh, controlled environment where you are being checked and your computer is being checked and stuff like that, then of course you don't want to take a risk. You should just ask. So once you download the script, what do you need, what do you need to do is you need to basically change the extension. Now, another question may arise. Uh, how do I know about scripts? Where do I learn about scripts? Scripting is always something extra for somebody. You don't really learn this from uh, learning platforms or, you know, people don't teach this type of stuff in trainings because it requires its own knowledge. Every scripting, uh, you know, it's, it's like a detailed type of training. So if you want to learn about scripting, anyone who's interested in scripting, just look into, uh, you know, uh, PowerShell. Uh, that's even more than scripting right now. That's just, I'm just giving you an example that don't just get stick to something old, HTA, VBS, batch file. These are old stuff. You may want to learn about it a little bit, little by little. Uh, but uh, PowerShell is probably the next one. But right now, forget about it. Uh, you you only use the things that you can you see, and then apply these, and later on decide if you really want to go into this kind of stuff. So once you download this, you need to change this into a script, and the, the script is HTA, just like VBS batch. This is a HTA. So we're gonna do save as. And we're going to change the script from text file to HTA. So here you're going to do all files. And when you change the extension of that, you need to do all and then you do HTA. So let's go back in there. And you see now we have HTA. This is going to create a new file. We're going to go to desktop. And we're going to click save. Okay, so you got this mini tool with you. 
and now let's say you're working in a company and you got a call that uh, I cannot log into my uh, you know I actually logged into my machine but I can't do anything everything is uh, email is not coming up everything is not coming up so usually a lot of new people will start troubleshooting right they will not think of restarting a machine right away so they will spend two hours and then they'll say okay let's do a restart maybe that's will fix it so as soon as they restart a machine then you get a message that oh your password has expired you need to change it and you're like oh that was so simple I could have just told the user that you know restart your, exp your your account is expired all you have to do is to restart your machine and you're good to go so you see right from the beginning you could have saved that time when you had something like this now if you had you hadn't had anything like this how would you know how would you know about thousand people are working in a company you're not gonna know that so that's the second step that I'm gonna show you in a different video where you can install tools a third-party tools that can actually alert you for this stuff too but at this point uh, a script is the easiest way right now so how would you find about this how would you run this script so this script is already on your machine now you just need to set it up so this this utility will go out there and look for a domain you see it all automatically picked your domain and you're gonna click OK here and you see now here you're going to actually type the full domain name in here so example all you DC and the dot com so what you need to do over here you need to type that JSS 700 dot jobskillshare.org and once you type that you see it picked it up so this is where I love this script because it can be very handy when you get a call right away you can open that person uh, you know um, a name so for example Ali is our account right here so all you have to do is to go to the account so let's say Ali is the account right there you're gonna you got a, you got a call from someone and here while you're on the phone you're gonna open that person information right here you're gonna type Ali somehow my keyboard is not working here for some reason oh there you go it was just a slow um, okay so let's remove that and you're gonna search Ali so you see it's gonna go out there and look for Ali so look at this right here Ali password has expired so if Ali was to try to log into these machines this is exactly what I'm talking about that here in Active Directory there's no way it's gonna tell you that this person's account is expired it can tell you that it's locked out then you can actually go in there uh, and unlock it but even that you will not see that it's gonna say you know it's locked out you're not gonna see that you're not gonna see this type of information you can only see this type of information in this script in an easy way of course there are other advanced way but forget about that for now only focus on this script because it's so easy um, here another thing is people will call you hey when when do you think my how many days are remaining in my password because I'm worried that I might go to some event and my password will uh, expire and you guys will be on a vacation and now I'm stuck so you can actually come back here and you tell the person that your password will expire in 35 days remember it's the reason you're doing this scripting and learning this kind of stuff is to be in a conversation with a normal user because you you never want to feel like a person call you hey how many days are remaining in my password and then you you have no clue how to even see this stuff or how do you even get to this stuff and that confuses you that kind of hits you right there that oh you know I should have known this stuff it's not a bad thing a lot of people don't know about these things I mean we're we're there because this is why you're a member of jobs share or member because for this reason that we share this type of knowledge with you so it makes your job easy it makes you grow faster it makes you move faster in your career rather than someone who can always just kind of like you know doing this stuff on their own and it takes them time to find these things out it, it takes them on they only find it out because when they see this these type of example in reality so these are the two main reason you would want this script of course the script can do more than that it can force a person to change the password it can unlock it right from here it can disable an account it can do a lot of other things but mainly the two main reason for this is gonna it's gonna tell you either the password is expired the account is expired either it's locked or it's disabled or how many days are remaining in your password which is very powerful stuff and that's why I wanted to show you this video so go ahead and on other machine try to install the script create it yourself for example you have this machine that you're creating 700b 
So open it up and install the same script on it and then try to do these things on that uh, for domain controller and then log into one of these uh, you know uh, profiles like for example Ali or Ahmed or other ones and lock yourself out and then run the script and then create a scenario in your head that Ali may call you what are you going to tell Ali or how are you going to perform the unlock, unlock per, uh, uh, action so that gives you a real hands-on experience when whenever you get a call when you were whenever somebody asks you in an interview have you used any you know other tools to troubleshoot Active Directory you can talk about this stuff you can talk exactly talk about this thing that you have just done this is what makes you different than other people this is what makes you uh, you know what makes you stand out in your interviews so hopefully you will do this and uh, Hopefully you like this video and let me know what you think and other people who are watching this on YouTube as well. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.